going on everybody today i'm going to be showing you how to make clam stuffed mushrooms let's get started here's all the stuff you'll need got some button mushrooms a can of canned clams got some sh shredded parmesan cheese got italian breadcrumbs got some italian herb and a tube thingy all fresh with some garlic so yeah, i'm going to be using Six cheese Italian, shredded little mosher, mozzarella cheese, I got smoked provolone, Romano, Frontina, Frasciago, and you know, of course, Parmesan cheese in it. And then we have mozzarella cheese, strainer for the mushrooms, container to cook it in, a chopping board just in case I need it. So let's start up with the mushrooms. I don't know how many I'll need up on it. Use the rest of these. I'm gonna wash these off. The whole myth that washing off mushrooms, you know, it does make them a little bit slimy a little bit, but you can dry them off. It won't hurt them. I'm just gonna get all this in the shot. And I'm holding the camera for me using a tripod for this. I probably won't use all these mushrooms either, but at least they're washed off and clean. So I'm just gonna dry these mushrooms. Now soaking mushrooms in water? No, that's not a good idea. Washing them off is a different story. I want these dry. Hey, the whole myth on washing them or whatever is you know, don't wash mushrooms off. They're gonna absorb moisture, and you know, mushrooms already have water in them, so washing them off won't hurt them. Mushrooms like water anyway. That's why they grow in the forest in a dark, moist area with a lot of water. But I don't want these dry, and then we get to the next step. I'm gonna be using only six mushrooms. Hopefully, that's enough. So let's uh, get started out. I know these mushrooms are probably not the greatest, but just gotta take the stem off. Now you can throw the mushroom stems away, or you can make mushroom like stock or something out of them. Now if you get a mushroom that the stem didn't break off all the way, you can probably just take a spoon. And then scrape it out of here. If you want the mushrooms to hold the stuffing that you're going to use. Now it's time to play Tetris. Cause these mushrooms have to fit in here. I think I was doing three across. It's probably good. We got a mushroom. That's like too round. Let's take a little, you know, just a little bit off. That way it stays flat. And that's a little bit better. And get mushrooms in there. Now it's time to make the filling. Uh, I forgot to mention, you need an egg for as a binder. So I'm going to use one large chicken egg. Yeah, I already had a lot of stuff on the counter already as it is. egg okay eggs beaten I'll open this up and drain it I don't really need the liquid so here. 
comes with clam juice. And these are minced clams. I tried uh, another, um, I got another one of this clam strips or something. I didn't like. They're too big of a piece. Hopefully these are not too small. I don't know. I don't smell clammy or anything, so I'm going to drain this. I don't need the liquid. Alright, I'm going to take the lid off, so I have no idea what I'm into. So let's see. Mm, it's not too bad. Better than the last one I had. Put it in the sink and wash that off. I've got to recycle the lid and stuff later. Yeah, I'll just put this on here. Make sure there's not big chunks. Any weird spots. Now it's already minced or whatever, but let's give the bigger pieces a smaller piece. So I tried making these before and the clams were, were way too big and the filling didn't turn out right. I don't really have no way of measuring. I don't know how many clams this is or how much. So I'm just going to add all these. I'm not measuring anything. I was gonna do the whole measuring thing, but I'm gonna, um, I don't know, probably a couple of tablespoons. You probably start out with a tablespoon. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. Put in the six cheese that I showed earlier with all the mozzarella, provolone, Asiago. Probably about a third of a cup of cheese. Italian seasoning in it. It's like fresh. It's like already ground up fresh. It's probably thyme, rosemary. Like some garlic. About two tablespoons. It's soft enough, I guess. Together in there. I'm gonna set the smash this butter up. The butter keeps it from drying out. And then also adds flavor. I'll probably add a tablespoon. Just drizzle a little bit in here. And add some Italian breadcrumbs. I'm gonna add this until it turns into a paste, like stuffing. A little bit more breadcrumbs. Not too much, because you don't want to dry out the liquid. A little bit more. I want the stuff to stand up by itself, so. like that. You can stand it up and it stays for the most part what I'm looking for. See it thicken up enough where you can actually scoop it. I don't know the spoon sometimes doesn't always work well. Now I'm going to put these on a cookie sheet, it's a lot easier to pick up. Place on a cookie sheet that way you put it easier in the oven and oven mitts, you know, you know it's kind of hard to 
do that, but I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil at the bottom. Drizzle on top. Coated. Just gonna move the olive oil around a little bit. Make sure the bottom of the mushrooms don't stick. Give it a little shake a little bit. Let's get a non-stick foil. Just regular foil. I don't want to ever work, but. Put enough piece to cover it up. Non stick side is down. Alright, I'm going to place this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Alright, just took them out of the oven. Be careful, you end up burning yourself. Taking this foil off. Take the foil off. That should be done. Pretty good. Got some mozzarella cheese with uh, provolone mix. The six Italian cheese. And I just put the two cheeses and mix this together. No point in wasting another bowl unless I have to. Buy like a cup of cheese here. A half a cup of each. Oh, let's put this on top. Have enough cheese. Now there's a lot here, but it's probably good. I right, got cheese on there. Now it's just going to put it in the oven underneath the broiler just to melt the cheese. Okay, mushrooms are done. All cheese nicely melted and browned up. I'm gonna let these cool off for I don't know about 10 to 20 minutes or something. All right, <clears throat> mushrooms are cooled off enough. I'm gonna put a little parsley on them. I don't have any fresh lemons, and so I'm just gonna use a little bit of lemon juice. I'm just gonna sprinkle on just a little bit. I know it's not the same, but well, I guess I do a taste test. They already been sitting for a while. I don't know. Make sure they cool off enough so you guys know. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna eat this one. I'm not gonna eat it on camera. I don't like eating food on camera. But you see this one here missing, so I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know. If it's any good or not. I think I did wait a little bit too long because I did cool off a little bit. So I'll probably heat them up in them. But my favorite part is the cheese here. They're pretty much uh, spot on with uh, like Olive Garden, you know, clam mushrooms. So something like that.